Hello, I'm Dr. Greg Winteregg. I'm a dentist and a partner at MGE. And today, I'm gonna to start a series of a very pointed question, is it really possible to get out of managed care? Maybe a follow-up question is, do you want to? And the truth of it is, until you really look at the numbers, you don't know. I'll tell you an interesting story. About 15 years ago, we had a lot of success running a direct mail campaign using the tagline, get out of managed care. In one week, we got 254 postcard responses to that promotional piece. But by the time the year 2002, 2004 rolled around, we would get two promotional responses. It completely didn't work. Now, I'll give you my opinion, and I think the data backs this up. I think our profession just went into complete apathy and agreement. You have to participate in managed care if you're going to practice dentistry in this century. Now, I can tell you for a fact that is not true because I have hundreds of clients that are very successful and not participate. But then I have many other clients who are successful and they take a few plans. So you don't want to just randomly drop plans just for any particular reason because somebody said so. You have to evaluate the numbers. So for today, I'm going to give you a task. If you are participating in any plans at all, I'm going to give you a few things to do leading up to and the foundation for this series and up to the next video. Number one list out every plan that you participate with. Just write them all down. Number two, take a look at how many patients are in each plan. Like what's the total number of patients you have in your patient base for that plan. Then find out how many new patients are coming in from each plan. Then evaluate the total amount of collections per month or possibly here <clears throat> for all last year, 2014, Per plan. So the key here is gather up all the data. <clears throat> now the next number is a number you may not really want to confront. What are the write-offs for each plan? I ask doctors all the time, how much are you writing off on your managed care plans? PPOs, HMOs, whatever. You can even throw Medicaid into this if you'd like. The answer I typically get to how much are you writing off, the doctor says, I don't want to know. Well, we're not going to be an ostrich and stick our head in the sand on this subject. I'm going to help you do an evaluation. Do you need to get out? Should you get out? And most importantly, how could you get out if you decided to? So I've given you a to-do list. Take a few minutes. Give it over to one of your staff. Do a quick data roundup. Come back and see me next week. That's my tip of the week. <music>